Thank you, Mr. President. This council is a body governed by rules. One of those rules is that a member state wanting to know the accreditation status of an individual must ask in plenary or in the extended, expanded bureau. While working at the Secretariat, I discovered that an exception was being made for a single member state. The UN's sworn court position, confirmed to me by the most senior officials in 2020, is that the Secretariat may unilaterally decide to hand over the name of any human rights defender applying to attend this council weeks in advance to any member state without informing either the individual or this council. There has never been any investigation of this practice, which the UN says in court continues. A UN judge who openly criticised the policy from the bench was removed from his post without notice before he could publish judgment in 2019. He is on the record as saying that this was an attack on the independence of the judiciary by the UN itself. My question is simple, Mr. President. Do you agree that the Secretariat can secretly hand names of human rights defenders to the Chinese government weeks in advance of meetings? And if not, what will you do to stop it? The victims of the policy deserve to know. Dolkan Issa, who is sitting behind me and will speak shortly, has repeatedly asked precisely how many times and on what dates his name was handed over without his knowledge or consent, and if this still happens. He has never received any response. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.